sports. We begin with the college basketball bribery case. Arizona head coach Sean Miller will not have to testify in next week's federal trial. Today, the judge sided with the prosecution's argument that Miller's testimony would be irrelevant. Nine on your side's Cody Sheever spoke to Wildcat fans about what this could mean for the future of the program. For the last two years, a dark cloud hung over the University of Arizona men's basketball program after news broke of the FBI's investigation into corruption, alleging that Sean Miller paid his players, a charge Miller has denied. But on Friday, those dark clouds broke when a judge ruled the allegations are irrelevant. When all the smoke clears, and eventually it'll clear, Arizona will be back to, maybe not to the degree of what it was, but inch, inch there little by little. Steve Rivera has covered the Wildcats for almost three decades now. He says the news is a step in the right direction and fans can now focus on the nation's top ranked recruiting class coming in this fall. For longtime U of A basketball supporter George Khalil, he and the Wildcat community have stood behind Coach Miller during this entire process. I'm personally glad to see that Miller has maintained the kind of discipline that he had and uh, I'm glad he's staying, I'm glad he's doing it. Glad he's here to make things happen for him, for us, for everybody. Students at U of A are already looking forward to what's expected to be a winning season, even some who have never stepped foot in the McHale Center. I think if the basketball team does well this year, it'll definitely help the campus just come together and have something that we can all be proud of. Sean Miller's kind of, he's, he's kind of like Tiger Woods. He's got that comeback, you know, fever. Tiger Woods proved all the doubters wrong by winning the Masters. Miller could silence his critics just by leading his team on the court at McHale next October. Cody Sheever, Kagan 9, on your side.